welcome to EWWE episode number 54 of Rising. We have a stacked card here tonight. How about our main event? CC Neon will be taking on Kim Possible for the EWWE Vixens Championship. But right now, we're going to have a match with Britannia. And I do not remember who she's facing. I believe it's Stargirl. We'll have to see on that. But Brittany's out here in a casket. Let's pan over to that. The casket was there when the show started. And she's been lying in it. But now she's awake. No longer Brittany. But she is Britannia. Garrett Bone. The following contest scheduled for one fall, introducing in the ring from Cranberry Township, PA, Brittany Sin. And introducing her opponent, representing the All-American Girls from Blue Valley, Nebraska, Stargirl! Stargirl is going to have to deal with whatever Brittany and Ashley have turned into. But she's got a Air Force Amy out here to even the odds, so it's not, it's not like she's going to get jumped. Starkle has uh, been a token player in EWWE for a minute now, actually. We forget our rivalries with Carmella Blaze. One half of the first ever, first ever women's first blood match. She would then fight in a losing effort to Carmella Blaze in that match. Put up a great fight though. The match starts. Brittany gets thrown over the top rope. Wait, there's a counter. That's what you're doing. Oh, it drops over the DDT. Shots. With a counter. A star girl. Wait, oh, she comes out of nowhere with a bulldog. Now Brittany back in control. Wait, star girl. Using a wrestling background. Goes behind. There's a chop block. So very agile. That comes from that comes from being Starville, I guess. There's a drop. Board Buster. Wait. Oh, an Insuguri to the side of the head. And another one. Brittany with the side headlock. It was a hip toss. Lock up again. This possibly might be the last rising. I think we have two more shows. So this might have been the last awakening and rising that. But, um. Wait a minute. And Brittany and Britannia throws her into the corner. I'm gonna say it's about to be over for our contract with 2K14 after some years. Finally moving on to newer titles. Whatever works to get the content out to you guys. There's a Russian leg sweep. After an elbow to the face, and oh! It's flying wheel kick. There's a drop kick. Now going behind again. There's some forward, and another chop block trying to take out the leg of Brittany. Stargirl. I think he's gonna throw her outside the ring, but she didn't. Oh, a kick in the face. And a back suplex. The elbow. Star girl with a neck breaker. Oh, 
There's a neck snap right there. Start going with punches. Runs right at the top of her head for a neck breaker. And as I mentioned before, speaking of the Vixen, CC Neon facing Kim Possible later tonight for the EWE Vixens Championship. It was made official last week. At last, last rising. Three. Now she's starting to work on that leg again. There's a snap there, the elbow to the head. Another rolling snap. Start going with punches. Goes behind. Going for Irish whip. Into the ropes. And counter. Bulldog. And now a set of strikes. Now she goes behind for a Russian leg sweep. Stomping her out. Oh, she went for a crossbody, crashed and burned there. And she got right back up. You have to wonder, it made Ashley more dangerous when she was turned into what she's turned into. Wonder what it's done to Brittany. See if she wears that skeleton like face paint. Ashley also has some symbols on her face as well. Flying clothesline, or diamond clothesline. And another kick. Crowd is going mild for this match here. It's another, oh, oh, she moved out of the elbow, dropping, oh, no, corkscrew neck breaker. Punches. Kick. When she sweeps the legs. Drags it at the middle of the ring for a cover. One, and no, Stargirl kicks out. Didn't do enough for her, even a two count there. And this maybe attributes to the toughness of Stargirl. And, oh, a jawbreaker. Oh, a kick to the side of the head. And a back body drop. When she countered, one, two, and no. Oh wait, she's got a, she's got a backslide, uh, not a backslide, a flip over. And the ref is too occupied with Ashley to notice the Starfield's not kicking out. Wait, there's one, there's two, and oh, she bridges out of it. Into a backslide, an actual backslide, one no. Only a one count. Russian leg sweep. And an elbow to the back. Punch, oh no. Got the arm. And a face buster. We also have. David vs. Goliath sort of matchup later tonight. Fire Ant will be taking on Giant Gonzalez. I think we all know how that one's going to go. Oh, a rumor cutter out of nowhere. It's a cover on Stargirl, but no. She was, she was too close to the ropes. And I believe Alcantara threw a steel chair in the ring. May come as a that may come in as an equalizer at some point. Oh, it drops it with an atomic drop. Sends her arm into the mat. Now just stomping her out again. Wait, moved out the way. 
And, oh, flapjack. It was almost on the chair there. That almost backfired on Britannia. Now she's going up to the top. Maybe go for All-American Splash. No, she went to a diving headbutt. Brittany just will not stay down. The counter, elbow to the back. And a Russian leg sweep. I think that was on the chair. It's a clothesline. Almost knocked the chair out the ring. Starbuck. Okay, without weapons, she usually has her staff, but in EWE, she's never been able to use it. So he decided to work on her hand to hand. Wait a minute, and Brittany. Oh, I don't know what she calls that. It's one of her signature maneuvers. It's like a catapult flapjack one. And wait a minute, Air Force Amy distracting the referee just as Alcantara did. Now Alcantara doesn't seem too happy about that. Drag her in the middle of the ring. Going for a cover. One and no. Bulldog. That's right on her face. Oh, she got she got out of it. Oh, she went for her. She, yeah, I think I think Alcantara tried to hit Stargo in the head as she was on the move. But one and no. Al, uh, Alcantara once again distracting the referee. And these one woman entourages go. That's when the match is really gonna hit its, hit its peak, I believe. Oh, dot and a running knee. Ooh, corkscrew neckbreaker again. Nice flip. Struggle using a lot of speed. And there's an All American DDT or the Star Spangled DDT. Cover. One. Two, no. Alcantara again. This is three times now. Isn't that the limit? Isn't that the limit? I believe she's getting ejected. And yes, she. I think yes, she has. She's gotten ejected, and she walked right past Air Force Amy. Remember the time Ashley just didn't leave when she was told to. And cover three. It's over. Brittany. He's got the win. Kicking out cancer out didn't mean anything. The damage was already done. Brittany with the victory. Is that a preview of what we're going to see at the end of the road when these two teams face off for the EWE Vixens Tag Team Championships? And right here was it. Here's your winner, Britannia. Oh, actually, Britney is celebrating. For empty husks, the kind of mobile. Maybe has something to do with the spell. I'm not a necromancer, so I wouldn't know. Do you see the number one contender for the EWWE World Championship, Dr. Dragon, consulting with fellow Evil Incorporated member Shigo about uh, something? We don't have mics in the room. You should probably get past this if you don't have mics. He's up there coming up with something, no doubt. Some type of scheme for tonight's contract signing. With, with the world champion. It's 
speaking of the world champion, who else has yellow hair like that? It's Crown Stoppable. There's the Diva Killer, Carmella Blaze. City, Japan, weighing in at 231 pounds, Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith, member of Evil Incorporated as well. This is Evil Incorporated versus APA right now. Order or whatever they're calling themselves. Go. Match is started and they lock up. This team is going to have momentum going into end of the road. Lord Ascadilla is not here tonight as she is training for her match against Kim Possible at end of the road. So she loses that matchup. Her status in WWE as far as being a Power role is in question. In the words of Sebastian McCroy. Oh, a spine buster. Spine buster by Visor. That rock man to Keith a little bit. Looks like he's coming back though. It goes against the arm, takes him down into a future wall arm bar. Trying to dislocate the socket of Visor. Throws him hard into the corner. I like the way he whiplashed off of that turnbuckle. He's going for a suplex. Nice vertical suplex by Bandit Keith. And oh, elbow to the jaw and then a clothesline. Roger trying to fight back. Oh, Bandit Keith goes around using his wrestling skills to take down Visor. Oh, gut right suplex. And he's going outside the ring. Looks for something. What is it? It's a sledgehammer. And Visor takes it off of him. Dangerous situation. Oh, what a clothesline! Decapitated Sir Elijah Visor. Hmm. We always call him Sir Elijah because we didn't know. 
what his name was. Oh, a German suplex by Manny Keith. Now he's going to get his own weapon, but look out, Visor's back up. A shot to the back. And, oh, he just dropped him right on the chair. Front seat to Otis. He's going to do it again. Oh, no, that time was on the floor. Keith throws Liza back in the ring and he did a half a victory lap just to get back in the ring. That's a body slam. Liza going outside. And he got the chair. Bandy Keith says it's not gonna backfire on me. Oh a shot right to the skull. And now shots begin. He just, he just broke the chair. On Pfizer. Pfizer trying to fight back, but Manny Keith in control of this matchup. German suplex. Counter on Pfizer. Oh! That looked like the world takeover. Bandit Keith just no sold it away to make the Hiroshima bomb onto the broken chair. He's smart, dragging him to the middle of the ring so he doesn't get a rope break. One, two, three, no! Fajer got the shoulder up. Oh, he's into the corner. Wait, saw him coming. From behind, oh, wait, twist the arm, and oh, belly to belly suplex! Belly to belly slam. Keep his kiss that the Hiroshima bomb did not put away Visor. Oh, and Visor, oh, dropping him again with that twisting neck breaker. Uh, what is he? Oh, oh. suplex. You know, there's another suplex. There's a German of his own. for world well, takeover again adding insult to injury but that puts out well, he's not done visor it, visor arrogantly thought that the match was over and the count was only at 10 and uh, Keith takes advantage as he should Oh, it's a shot across the chest or knock the wind right out of you. Oh, it steps on Bandit Keith's head. Gets back up and gets an axe handle for his efforts. Oh, Bandit Keith going, going after that leg. You know he's setting up for the ankle lock. The Patriot lock. Knee and gut first, right over the stairs. Eddie Keith may be done for here. Miser calling him up. Uh, I don't know what he's going for there. Maybe another world takeover. Wait, wait for him to get back up in. He's going for the Hiroshima bomb. <laughs> no, he counters into a DDT this time. Miser right with the ring and he gets a steel chair. And oh, and Bandit Keith runs right into a chair shot. And now steel chairs to the knees, but he moved. Elbow to the head. Oh, oh wait a minute, a minute. Oh! Oh my god! This match is turning ugly real fast. What is. 
There's a back suplex. He's gonna do that combo again, it looks like. And then, oh, right on the ladder. There's a backbreaker by Visor. These two factions despise each other with every fiber of their being. And it's showing in this match. And Visor too occupied with the fans again. Causes Bandy Keith to get the upper hand. Now I'm going for a cover. One. And no. Kick out by Visor. Oh. He ran right into that. Oh, wait a minute. He's going for it. Oh, it drops him. I think he calls that the shade. One, two, three. This one's over. What a match this was. Spot after spot. Right to this chair shot. Watch this. Oh my god. But he somehow got back up. Stopped him in his tracks. Whatever he was going for. Maybe another clothesline. Hit him with the shade. And that was all she wrote. Here's your winner. Visor. You better give him a promotion for this. Congratulations to Vizor, though. He didn't win the matchup. CC seems ready for her clash later tonight. But up next, we're going to have a David vs. Goliath type matchup here. A fire Ant taking on Giant Gonzalez. We should be panning over there at any time now. a huge task ahead of him. The following contest can be for one fall. He was in first. From Mexico City, Mexico. Laying in at 128 pounds. Fire Ant! I can see Fire Ant here. A minute. There's a lot of people you haven't seen in a while. It's lack of uploads. We'll get, we'll get re familiar with the rest though. Introducing his opponent, residing in Helena, Montana, 
weighing 487 pounds, Giant Gonzalez. They're not that complicated either. Wait, then he finally took that bag off of his head. Thought it was incognito for a second. And oh, Giant Gonzalez right away with a shot to the chest. He's off. Strikes, fire and counters. Okay. Gonzalez counters and shoulder block, shoulder bumps. Fire and knocking him right down and just walking over him. Uh, again, oh! oh! Wait a minute, he was able to sweep the giant's feet. Maybe he can get some momentum on his side. Her Karana. Fire and not one to back down. He's a Russian leg sweep. Fire and is actually in control of this matchup. Throws Jan Gonzalez hard in the corner. Oh, he goes around. Hurt Rana again. Your crucifix head scissors. Oh, and that'll stop him right in his tracks. Low blow. Oh, it's a shot to the back. Let's see. Oh, knocks him right out the ring. Bane doing. Bane undoing the turnbuckle. Perfectly legal. Hey, Bane. Going after Fire Ant and maybe he changed his mind. He throws Gonzalez in the ring. There's a cover. One and no. Wasn't even able to put him down for a one count. Oh, it's a knee. It's a bulldog. Cover. One, two, and no. Goes into the corner. How is he doing? Oh, I heard Corona off the top rope. Did you see the way he landed on his neck? And now, he's got him up. For the ant hill. One, two. Now wait a minute, Bane. With the distraction to the referee. Got the arm. Oh, and he's DDTs him. The elbow to the back. Dude, his body warped in some way or fashion. Oh, I doubt. He's going up to the top rope. Oh, Giant Gonzalez stops him in his tracks with a chop. And oh no. Hit. Oh, a choke slam off the top rope. Cover. One, two, three. This one's over. Fire Ant put up a valiant effort. In the end, Giant Gonzalez prevailed. Watch this. Oh! One, two, 
Here's your winner, Giant Gonzalez. Gonzalez making quick work of Fire Ant. This man doesn't have a Pain Love and Sacrifice match yet. Neither does Bane, actually. Neither does have a Pain Love and Sacrifice match yet. But that can always be subject to change. Say controversial circumstances, but look at mine, it's kind of like that. Mr. Amazing put a chair around Tsunami's neck. It looked like he was going to jump off onto it, but he changed his mind. A little bit of remorse show, showing in that. It was a bad situation for Tsunami, but he managed to make the best of it by getting Mr. Amazing. Getting a pinfall on Mr. Amazing. Tsunami, one of our top competitors in the Zero Gravity Division, may be slipping his way into the main event scene at some point. As he's defeated former Psycho Champion Devontae Wright once, tonight he looks to do it again. Before in contest game for one fall, introducing in the ring from Domino City, Japan, weighing in at 188 pounds, Tsunami! The focus in Mr. Mason's eyes, gonna make up for that loss last week. He got the spellbinder left in the round still, so that's another thing he has to watch out for. And introducing his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 248 pounds, Mr. Amazing, Devontae Wright! Devontae Wright, member of the resistance, one of the leading men in charge of taking down this Escadilla threat. It's been amazing as a pretty good win loss record too. He just he defeated Cell two episodes ago in a crazy two out of three falls match. Haven't seen a cell since. It's only been two episodes. Still. We should expect nothing more than another classic match on between these two. Nothing less. Sorry, my words are a bit slippy today. Here we go. The tsunami starts off with a couple punches. It look like he just pissed Mr. Amazing off. He throws him in the corner and oh! True ambition in the corner. And I just wiping his boot across the face. So he's really taking his time here. Going around after, after the slap. 
He just pushes him off. I don't know. I think he's just messing with Tsunami and that pushes Tsunami off. Oh, a kick to the injured leg. Throws him into the corner. Oh, he went for a knife edge for his counter. And, oh, amazing impact. And a drop kick. And, oh, a spine buster. Tsunami trying to get out the gate, but Mr. Amazing's had an answer for everything so far. There's an elbow to the jaw. And goes around again. The tsunami had it scouted that time. Snap there. A forearm to the back. There's a backbreaker, a pendulum backbreaker. Look for Irish Whip with his counter. Oh, he goes around. Float over DDT. Nice. Now he's going outside the ring. Look for. Oh, I don't know what he was going to get. But got stomped on for his efforts. Oh, he blocked the shot. And now. Oh, he's back to the leg. Oh! Double knees. He may be setting up for that. Uh, he may be setting up for that high angle leg lock that he does. Yeah, he put him in an Indian death lock and then stomped on the knee again. Oh, and Tsunami with a quick screw neck breaker out of nowhere. Desperation move. Oh, he went for a kick that was countered. And oh, a DT on the mat. It's a very thin padding, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Tsunami went back in the ring. They both get back in. Tsunami gets countered. Oh, there's a spinning leg drop to the leg. Wait. Oh, Warhammer! He had knocked Tsunami clean out. And no, Tsunami gets back up. And Mr. Amazing, shocked by this, tries to go for a clothesline and gets a flapjack. He got the arm. Throws him in the corner. Oh wait, Tsunami with a counter. Oh wait, and oh! There's a Tsunami wave, I believe. One, two, and no. It's a kick out. Oh, and, oh drops him again with a flapjack. Oh, he drives him to the ropes. Oh, he dumps him to the outside. Looked like he was thinking of diving to the outside, but thought against it. The tsunami throws him back in the ring. Elbow to the jaw. Tsunami taking a breather here. Mr. Amazing, not allowing that though, goes right over to him and throws him back in the ring. Mr. Mason seems way more focused this time. And oh, a snapback suplex one and no. And a neck breaker. Oh no, and what he's setting up maybe for the true ambition. Got it! It's like a javelin going through your abdominal region. One, two, three. No. Tsunami managed to kick out. I can't say I'm not surprised. Man, I can't say I'm surprised. There's a reverse STO. He's going on the, on the ropes in. Oh, you went for a springboard splash. Moved and oh, a drive by kick cover one, two, and no shot to the gut with Tsunami with a counter elbow to the eye, elbow to the eye. Stun Mr. Amazing. Oh, wait, he's going tidal wave. That's the move he used to beat Mr. Amazing last time. We get a tidal wave on the chair. Will it hit him again? And no. 
Mr. Amazing gets the shoulder up. Tsunami fighting back here. Oh, spin kick. I don't know what Mr. Amazing was thinking there. Oh, he went for a clothesline, got a hip toss. Now Mr. Amazing seems to be getting a little frustrated. He's making mistakes he normally would not make. Tsunami. Alright, so he goes up to the top. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, he went for a shot. That was countered. Oh, a big crossbody. Cover one, two, and no. And a lock up. It's an amazing side headlock. And DDT. Cover one, two, and no. Once again, another two count. Oh, wait. Small package by Tsunami and no. Manages to kick out. Oh, he's going for another tsunami, tsunami wave. One, two, and no, again a kick out. He's going for a shot. It's countered. Now he hangs him up in the tree of woe again. And oh, he went for it. He went for a drop kick. I believe Mr. Amazing fell before he could get the full effect of it. There's a el couple of elbows to the jaw and a drop kick to the face. Tsunami and shit got the cobwebs after that one. Now Mr. Amazing's got a chair and Tsunami takes it off of him. And oh! The chair being used against Devontae right here. And oh, a few shots to the back. And Devontae retreats into the ring. Tsunami still walking on the outside. Amazing decides to get back out. Elbow to the jaw. Now two kicks. Oh, elbow to the jaw. And now elbow drop. We have one more match up here tonight. That's our main event. And then we have the impending contract signing between Dr. Draken and Ron Stoppable. That's bound to be something, you know. He got a wooden bat. Oh, wait a minute. Out of nowhere, another tidal wave. Another tidal wave. That's gonna put Mr. Amazing away. One, two, Three, Mr. Amazing has lost to Tsunami again. Tsunami now has two wins over Devontae Wright. This gotta be frustrating. This the second title wave did it. Here's your winner, Tsunami. Congratulations to Tsunami. Mr. Amazing is visibly frustrated. This is his second loss to Tsunami. Let's go back in the ring. Mr. Amazing is up. Tsunami extending the hand. Mr. Amazing. Frustration. It's a tough loss for Mr. Amazing. You gotta think the return of Crypt and his issues with the Spellbinder as well is affecting his in-ring performances. 
And up next, we have the, it's our main event after we go to a few backstage segments. CC versus Kim. By the end of the night, will Kim walk in the end of the road facing Askedonia as the women, as the Vixens champion? Speaking of the Spellbinder. Always scheming. It seems Askedonia is taking those blackouts very seriously. There's the world champion, Ron Stoppable. But up next, here we go. The main event, Kim Possible taking on CC Neon for the EWE Vixens Championship. I have no idea how this one is going to go. But we're about to find out. The full on cut that's getting for one fall is for the EWE Vixens Championship. Introducing first from Greenwich, Connecticut. She is the EWE Vixens Champion, Cece Neon. Prospect. You know, we really walked into her first Extreme Asylum matchup, and in her and in her return match, won the Mixed Championship. She's got a tough challenge ahead of her. She's a, say a legend. And introducing her opponent, Kim Possible. I forget where she's from. Middleton, I believe. There we go. Middleton. Had a blackout for a second. Kim Possible has been women's champion before. She has not been Mixon's champion. She has faced a few Mixon's champions, though. You can forget her rivalry with Carmella Blaze. Referee showing what's important here tonight. Both competitors, and they both seem ready. Let's get, let's get this started. Oh, Kim went for a kick and got a drop kick to the leg. Starting out strong. Wait, Kim. Irish whip into a drop toe hold. Looking on CC. Oh, standing C fire. Drops her down. Wait, CC throws Kim in the corner. Oh, she went for double knees. That was counter. Now Kim with a combo of punches. Wait, CC drop toe holds her. Almost on the apron there. Her. Spins out of it. Couple stomps the leg. Kim throws CC in the corner. And then in the other corner. Looked like she was going to go for like a punch or a clothesline there. It was countered. And CC using her power suplex. Wait, Kim. Oh, she went for a moonsault. But CC scouted it. Now that rage of La Loba coming out here. Goes into the ropes and tilt wall backbreaker. These two have never actually faced off in one-on-one -on -one competition. I believe they were actually on the same team at one point. So it was CC, Kim, and somebody else against Askedelia's order, I believe. Kim 
You know, CC in the corner. And, oh, a handspring elbow. Side headlock. Goes around for a neck breaker. CC can't really get out the gate in this matchup here. Oh, a kick to the side of the head. A shot. Oh, wait, it's countered. CC. Trying to get some moves in. There's a wrist clutch suplex. Now she's got the arm. And rolls her through. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, throws her. Hard sternum first into the ropes and then a wheel kick to the side of the head. And now she's going after the leg. Trying to dismantle the Kim kick. Take that out the equation. Oh, she went for a bicycle kick, but from behind. Suplex, back suplex. She's going under the ring or something. She got a trash can. She tried to hit Kim with it, but Kim scouted it. And oh! A crucifix head scissors right on the trash can. That could rock. That would rock any normal. Any normal being, but CC. It's not normal. And wait a minute. Oh, she throws her heart into the. Already broken trash can, making her trip over it. She fell right into the stairs. Oh, she went for a bike, bicycle kick, but it was countered. Oh, wait. That was countered in on. Went over neck breaker, or on trap neck breaker. And another crucifix head scissors. Now Kim gets back in the ring. CC as well. On the back. Oh, kick to the side of the head. And, oh, another dragon whip. Oh, man. Oh, another back suplex. Kim landed hard on her shoulder. Got a kendo stick. Kim taking that out the equation fast. Wait, scoops her legs up. I don't know what she was going for, but Kim throws her back in the ring, and now what she's going for here. Oh, a leg drop on the apron. Shades of the Undertaker there. Kim with right hands. She gave him a front neck lock and dropped her by taking out the legs. And there's a double, double leg drop to the abdominal region. There's a back fist. You got to think that Ascadilia is watching this matchup very closely. I see, see, he's got a table. Getting, she's getting something from under the ring, but it's countered on weight. CC with another counter. Throws Kim into the ring to the elbow to the jaw. CC gets back in the ring. And, oh, another dragon whip. Like the fourth heel kick Kim has gotten. Continuously hitting the temple. That could. Give him a concussion. These are two very tough women. And, oh, and that's it's another sentiment. This is what they go through. The same as the extremists. Oh, a steel chair to the skull. And now Kim. The shots to the leg. CC also has a finisher involving the legs. The last night kick will not be able to. Oh, she throws her. She falls over the stairs. 
great. Oh, throws it into the ring post. With a black eye that she has in the extreme asylum. She might very well have another one. She gets the stairs in the ring. And oh my god! And now a shot from the stairs. That seemed to just piss CC off, but she ran into another stair shot. Moved. And oh, she didn't move out of that, out of the way of that. It's a springboard. I didn't know a shooting. St no. CC moved. And oh, slams her face right in the mat. And again. She thought she was gonna do it again, but Kim with a right hand. Thinking of, I don't know what she was doing there. She set her on the ropes. All right, a crucifix head scissors. And, oh, a tilt to wall backbreaker. And, a, oh, a shot to the face. And, oh! What a shot! That was like a warhammer. We tributing to Mr. Amazing there. Oh, wait. Oh! I do not remember what she calls that. I think it's the final howl. Something like that. And the Kim kicks out. Wait, cover. One. And no. Gets out and CC gets off the apron just to throw Kim back in the ring. The elbow to the jaw. She calls it the stab in the dark. That's what it was. That's an arm trap neck breaker. Now Kim. Slowing the pace of this match down, throws it right into the ring post. Oh, she went for a clothesline, but was countered into a Kim kick. And this is Kim's chance now. Throws her into the ring post. I think she's trying to get her back in the ring. And CC manages to throw Kim back in the ring. She gets in. Oh, she stomps on her leg. Oh, wait. And Kim with a hip toss. CC stays on her for another head scissors, driving Kim's head right into the mat. She sets the table in the corner. Wait a minute. They lock up. Kim's side headlock. Oh, a shot. And a drop kick. And oh, drops her with a right hand. Goes under the table. And oh, she went to drop kick her. And, oh, a total wall backbreaker, the back of her head on the stairs. Cover one, two, and no, Kim gets the shoulder up. And a drop kick to the knee again. Oh, she went for a clothesline, ducked it, Kim kick. That may be it. That may be it. Cover one, two, three. This one's over. We got a new Vixens champion. Hard fought match here by Cece, but Kim just too much for her. And then she, she took three Kim kicks. It was a two. That was the one, I believe that was the second one on the outside. The third one, that was after the stab in the dark or the tilt wall backbreaker up the stairs, but Kim would kick out. That was all she wrote. Congratulations to Kim. Oh, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Let's ask Adelia from behind. Oh my god. What a shot with the title. Ask Adelia sending a message to Kim Possible. Very dismissive of the title. I think she only cares about hurting Kim. But um after this commercial break we have we're going to have the contract signing for the EWWE World Title, Ron Stoppable, Dr. Dragon. Make for a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the host of the contract signing, Therese Vorman. Therese, the... She's the CEO of EWE. She works with Sebastian LaCroix very closely. Chaos, but hey, it's EWE is probably going to anyway. Looks like Dr. Dragon is coming out first. say about this rivalry. It's been going on since the first apocalyptic randomness. It even dates back to HWL, RCWE. These two have faced off on many stages. In EWE, Dr. Draken has never beaten the Unstoppable. Which is a relevant fact going towards this end of the road match. Finally, Bracken going down 2-0. And then he's down 0-2. He always knows how to make an entrance, though. title got around his waist at apocalyptic randomness and I don't think he's gonna give it back up the man he defeated you will ever know anything can happen here's EW world champion coming right now Ever since returning in 2013, Ron has been on a warpath 
trying to take down this regime of Aspidelius. At the forefront of the resistance. So it makes it all the more reason for him to have that title on lock. The winner of this matchup at Apocalyptic Grander, I'm at end of the road, is going on to face the Spellbinder at Pain, Love, and Sacrifice. But he did choose the world champion to go after. Let's see what these two men have to say about each other. Guarantee you it's not going to be a lot of nice things. Things may get ugly here. And Therese has gotten out of the ring with good reason. These two men are about to come to blows here. You can, you can see it coming. You can't hear what they're arguing about because there's no mic. Oh, Draco with a cheap shot. Takes down the champion. And now they're fighting. And now here comes security trying to break these two apart. They were not supposed to have contact tonight. All I know is I can't wait for the end of the road to see this match. It's been brewing for years, but that is all the time we have for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode. Until next time, this has been Curse of Malcav. Signing out. See you at end of the road.